Hey everybody, welcome back to WWE 12th. We had another episode of SmackDown. Yay! Welcome to SmackDown. We are five days removed from an unforgettable Extreme Rules. Hello again, everybody. Michael Cole, and as always, joined by the Hall of Famer, Jerry the King Lawler. And King, ever since Extreme Rules, nobody has seen or heard from the former number one contender, The Miz, and I, quite frankly, am getting very concerned. Well, at Extreme Rules, The Miz attempted to end the career of Triple H by slamming the heavy steel ring step onto Hunter's injured leg but it backfired and crashed down on his own leg. And of course, that night, Triple H also competed in that triple threat match for the WWE title, but it was Randy Orton who retained. We hear from the game next. Oh, the belt will be ours, man. At Extreme Rules, two things I wanted most on this planet were in my clutches and ripped away from me by a viper. You see, I had it all planned out that last night I would do something terribly painful to The Miz and win the WWE Championship. But instead, Orton slithers to victory. The Miz's career comes to an end, and I wasn't the man to do it. What? That's The Miz's music. Whoa, careful. <laughs> Miz seems to be having some difficulties. Really, Miz? Really? Triple H, you're absolutely right. My career as a WWE superstar did come to an end last night. Thanks to what my lawyers considered an unsafe work environment, steel steps fell directly on my legs. You mean the ones you could barely lift over your head? It's not my fault. They should have been better secured. And evidently, the WWE board of directors feels the same way as they have offered me a new role within the company. Look, Miz, I'm glad you're still able to get around and all, but I think our custodial staff does a fantastic job already. No, I have something with a little more prestige. I am the new general manager of SmackDown. Enough of this. Allow me to personally introduce the newest misfit, Kane! Okay, so there's a misfit that actually has some power. Hmm. Then again, we're Triple H, so we should be alright. Awesome. More miss, really? Not what the world needs, man. Phoenix, Arizona plays host to Friday Night SmackDown. Michael Cole along with the King, Jerry Lawler and King. Usually I'd kick it over to you here, but it appears our new SmackDown general manager has something to say. Triple H, we need to talk. Come on, Triple H. Don't keep the WWE Universe waiting. What do you want, Miz? I'm glad you asked that. You see, now that I'm general manager, I have to focus on things like ratings. So what I want is what you want. I want to see Randy Orton versus Triple H for the championship. And you're just going to make that happen? Well, not exactly. You see, I know you're still a little sore with me. I want to extend an olive branch. I want Triple H to win a WWE title for a record 17th time. And I want to see you get that opportunity in two weeks. You've got to be kidding me. How many chances will Triple H get at the WWE Championship? I'm just as deserving as him. Fine, Edge. If you think you can defeat Triple H, then let's see it right now. Ooh, he had the miss on the edge of his seat. Get it? Edge, edge of seat. Never mind. Let's fight. Wow! Whee. We're getting the number one contender match right now. Well, nobody said that the Miz wasn't decisive. 
I wish they would have done a real storyline with Edge. I mean, it would have been awesome. But still, he's in the story. So, that's kind of cool. Back in the day, Edge was forced to retire. Because he had some serious injuries. And the doctor said, if you keep on wrestling, you will be paralyzed. Which was a shame. And, and he really wanted to stay on, but he just... Couldn't be that way. Edge, however, had an opposing viewpoint on the subject, which is why we have this match. So you disagree with Edge? Listen, I generally disagree with Edge, but you know what? In this case, I have no problem with these men having a number one contender match. Oh, what a whip! Jerry and Michael Cole keep on chatting. Nobody cares. And the fun thing about these games is that you can wrestle with characters from every era and you can just, just face each other I mean that's yeah. pretty cool I mean the other games too you could be like Big Show versus Andre the Giant or Macho Man Randy Savage against Dolph Ziggler I mean that's pretty cool the matches that you would love to see in real life you can do in a game Edge watch it oh down on the back you know his neck is feeling that one what a shot that was by Edge damn it Come back of the edge. One more time. And I went over the edge. Ah, look at this. Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be Ken. Oh, he wants a belt. Don't think I won't count you out. Pedigree. Pedigree. No, no. Edge countered. What? What? Where did Ziggler come from? Two, three. Triple H wins. The official didn't see it. I don't understand what just happened. Why would Dolph Ziggler help Triple H? Well, all we know, King, is it appears that Triple H is the number one contender. Okay, guys, that was a weird victory. Let's see what happens next time.